What does a Syrian look like? In the minds of most people, it's this. But what if I told you it was this? My name is Eva and I'm a dental technician. I am a graphic designer. And I am an artist. Hearing about what life is like for Syrians through the news makes it feel detached, like it's a piece of history. But it's possible to learn about their lives directly by speaking to them yourself. You've heard a ton about the Syrian refugee crisis. The Syrian civil war has been going on for over seven years, and over 11 million people have been forced to flee their homes, leaving behind everything. But there's another side of this that no one ever talks about. The side of capable, educated refugees who can't rebuild their lives because of their refugee status. But one organization, Nata Kalam, is helping refugees get back on their feet and regain a sense of purpose. Our friend Aileen was in Lebanon a few years ago and was overcome by the refugee situation. These people are former doctors, artists, architects, just like us. But yet, just because of their refugee status, it's nearly impossible for them to get a work permit. Natakalam is an organization that connects people around the world with refugees. They get on one-hour Skype video calls where the refugees act as conversation partners, teaching people Arabic, but also telling them about their lives. We got the chance to visit an elementary school in New York City where students got to speak with Varti, a Syrian who fled to the neighboring country of Armenia. A lot of our people moving from their house. In Syria we have different types of people, although they are of the same background. They even had a chance to ask questions to her directly. Do you think that um, it will be ever safe for you to return and to Syria? This direct interaction provides an education more real than a textbook ever could. Seeing the newspaper, it's just not, you can't really understand what they're actually going through. Besides students, anyone anywhere can speak to a Syrian through Nata Kalam. We are on our way to Skype with Gaith, a Syrian with an unbelievable backstory. My name is Gais al Halla. Gaith was studying to be an engineer when he was drafted into the Syrian army. The horrors he saw on the ground led him to desert and flee to Lebanon, where he lived undocumented for three years. It was a difficult three years. I was like alone, no job, nothing to do. And then he found not the column and began tutoring students around the world. It was a perfect job for me because I can't do it at home because it was dangerous for me to be in the streets in Beirut uh, without papers. Then, after three years in Lebanon, Italy accepted him as a refugee. I have my residence here now. At the same time, I'm continuing with Natakala because it's, it's my perfect job. Gaith credits Natakala with helping him through some of his darkest hours. I was thinking that, okay, that's it. Syria is in a war now and I'm a refugee in Lebanon without any chance to do anything. Natakala changed this view, actually. They give me the confidence and I trust myself again. And I teach many students now around the world. Yeah, Thank you so much. Thank you. Yeah, <laughs> Anyone can sign up for language and cultural exchange sessions on our website. And we're already present in over 50 schools worldwide. This direct access to Syrians provides an emotional, engaging, and human educational experience. So if you're a parent, teacher, or student, and want to learn how to bring Netakalem to your classroom, visit netakalem.com. And if you're an individual and want to take one-on-one -on -one sessions with our conversation partners, you can do that too. I'm Aline. And I'm Rais. This is Natakalam. Rally on! Rally on! <laughs> <laughs>